We'll see. Well, I said, we'll see. Told you. It's not Mickey's a raffer. It's Mickey Hatton's rocking up. Then the I'm Pacquiao, taking over. Then the Pacquiao's going to rock up. All right, that's fine. We'll see. Remember what Pacquiao did to Hatton? Yeah. You remember what Ricky Hatton did? You didn't talk about that fight, man. I'm just saying. You remember what happened? About that fight. I'm just saying. You remember what happened in that fight? Mickey Hatton's rocking up. We'll see. Big J, what's what, what does that mean here? Let me let me. I've never seen Tim Zhu look like that before. Hold on, I'm gonna replay this. I'm gonna replay this. So for the viewers who are watching, um, Fox Sports over in Australia for the main event, um, Aussie pay per view between Tim Zhu and Mick Zarafa, they're having their face to face. It's supposed to be premiering soon over there in Australia, if we have time, not if we have time, if they upload it, we have access to watch, we will be definitely doing a recap of it. So something seems to have struck a chord here. Now I kind of know, but I want Big J to explain it. So take your time out, please subscribe and teach through controversy. This is Big and Big J with FightView360.com. And let's replay that. So well, I said, we'll see. see. Told you, it's not Mickey's a raffer, it's Mickey Hatton's rocking up. Then the I'm Pacquiao, taking over. And the Pacquiao's gonna rock up. All right, that's fine. We'll see. You remember what Pacquiao did to Hatton? Yeah. You remember what Ricky Hatton did? You didn't talk about that fight, man. I'm just saying. You remember what happened? I'm just saying. You remember what? Uh, Jay, you you wanna you wanna go ahead and lead off with this? Well, it obviously struck a chord because people who remember that fight, that was Kostya Zoo's Tim's father's last fight. It was his. Re it wasn't supposed to be his retirement fight, but it ended up being his retirement fight. Um, Ricky hadn't hit with Kostya with a couple of low blows later in the later rounds where Kostya was winning the fight. Um, so that would have been you know difficult for that. Um, Kostya retired after that, and within two years, you know, um, relocated back to. Uh, back to Russia and uh, unfortunately had a marriage breakdown all you know, at the time that Tim was, wasn't even in his early teens, barely in his teens. So I can see, once you have the backstory, you can see how that possibly struck a chord. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so basically, so, so basically, Mixerath is playing some mind games. Obvious, yeah, obviously, obviously. He's, hmm. he's, playing, he's, playing, he's playing the mind games. So. Interesting. Well, we've seen a lot worse in boxing before, but... I've, I've never seen Tim Zhu, you know, look like this, like clearly upset where he's telling him, don't talk about that, you know? So. Yeah. And, and I just wanted to say that while I get this out of my head, is like once Tim goes overseas to fight those American fighters, he's going to get a lot worse than this. Yes, he will. So. Because one yeah, thing for sure yeah, is. Go ahead. If he comes up against, imagine what Tony Harrison will do to him. Mm hmm. And he's a, you know, one of the Charlos or. You know, any of those American fighters, all he do is talk shit. Especially, especially when it comes to his resume, once they start, you know, talking about that. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, certainly, it certainly struck a chord. Maybe Mick's found a, big of a bit of a weakness there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but, um, um, what were you going to say? I was going to tell the people the uh, pay-per-view yeah. price, um, $59.95, Wednesday, July the 7th. Uh, yep, two weeks. 2021. They, they've also updated on BoxRec the undercard. Um, I don't know if you if you got a chance to research, but I'm going to just go ahead and read through it. You got Liam Wilson taking on um Joe Norne, Wade Ryan, um, who buzzed. I know that's the guy who buzzed um, Tim Zhu in the past versus a Troy O'Mealy. Paul Fleming. Yeah, versus... that's going to be a bloody good fight. That's a rematch. That's going to be a good fight. Okay. Paul Fleming versus Mal Zalewski. Sam Asti yeah, versus Zar Ots Omsolt. That sounds like is he must be. I'm guessing that's you know Middle Eastern. Lynn Sandstrom versus Tegan Wallace. Jason Fawcett versus Jamie Alani. Who should we be looking out for? Is this a good undercard? Is it worth the money? Uh, uh well, I don't think any pay per view is worth the bucks. Especially for a domestic card in Australia, well, considering there's no world title on the line. Yeah. But it actually is another solid. It's it's very very solid. I mean, I think they've done pretty. I mean, No Limit, um, yeah, you know, to their credit, always does a good card. This is another solid one. Unfortunately, um, I think Brock jo was Brock Jarvis supposed to be on Gallon Hooney or on this one. Oh, anyway, Brock Jarvis is fighting, which is unfortunate. But this is another solid. 
Uh, every single fight uh, has its merit. I mean, Paul Fleming is a uh, fantastic talent, does those fantastic ring walks. Um, you know, he, he's just fun to watch, Paul, Paul Fleming, and he's an absolute talent of a fighter. Lynn Sandstorm, uh, I think, is one and one. I'm going to start cleaning it up now. And uh, she's, she's going to go, you know, she's certainly someone to work for in the women's division. But the whole card is, again, is, is a solid, you know, solid B+. Plus. Another fantastic card. Liam Wilson's got another fight. You know, he's going back down to Super Feather where he should be. Wade Ryan, Troy O'Malley, uh, that's going to be a fantastic match. And, yeah, the other guys not too, uh, obviously, they're just newbies. Jason Fossett and Jamie uh, Elanine, I think his name is. They're newbies, but... And uh, Sam Ali, he was supposed to come back once before. He's had like five years off, but he's coming back this time. So I'm really happy that he's back in the ring. I know nothing about his opponent, um, but yeah, I mean another solid, yeah, you know, another solid B plus card, and it's, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Certainly am, certainly am. I mean, every single fight will be entertaining for sure. Okay, well, I mean, we pretty much already um, talked about everything involving this fight, so let's just give her a little uh, quick recap. So. Tim Zhu is ranked, let me see, we pull up here, still number one by the WBO. Our rankings over at FightView360.com are updated monthly in accordance to the sanctioning bodies, WBC, WBA, IBF, and IB, and the uh, WBO, and the ring. Jamel Charlo, July the 17th, is going to be taking on, hold on, let me make sure I get the date right. Let me make sure I get the date right. Let me pull this up. He's going to be defending his um, three titles, WBC, WBA, Ring. Yeah, July the 17th. And IBF titles against WBO champion Brian Castaño. Now, right now, Tim Zhu is taking on um, Michael Zarafa to defend his WBO Global. It's basically um, a regional belt. And it's looking like the winner of Tim Zhu versus Michael Zarafa is going to have to fight Michael Demed Karbanov in Russia. I mean, not in Russia, the Russian. So can we talk about that fight a little bit before we move on? Now, of course, we don't want to look past Michael Zarafa, but in this case, you know, how we do it is our next video, we're going to focus more on Michael Zarafa. But we're talking about, especially since the Charlo Castaño fight has been officially announced this last weekend, you know, we're, we're basically, you know, talking about what's the path for Tim Zhu to get a title shot. So, um, your thoughts on, on Tim Zhu versus uh, Magdamed Karbanov, uh, Big J, from what you know so far? From what I know so far, good test for Tim. But as I've been saying, as I, I fear that once he goes overseas, he's going to falter. So, this is going to be a massive step. I mean, yes, yeah, he's got to get past Mixer Rafa first. Um, who, mind you, from my research, and I hope I'm correct about this, hasn't won a fight overseas either because he lost to yeah, Quinnell, he lost to Brook, he lost to the Russian bloke. He's done. He's gone to Russia himself. Um, I don't see... I think this Russian guy might be a bit too much for, for Tim. So that's that's just my opinion. Um, you know, he took out Liam Smith, who was predicted to win that fight and pretty easily, where the Russian completely outboxed him. So... Uh, I think Tim might be in a little bit of trouble once he goes overseas, which I've been saying for the last year and a bit. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm mean, I, I, I still sticking to my gun saying that he can get past Mick because Mick's had too much time off. He got sick. He you know, had too much ring, in, uh, ring activity where Tim's just been running through everyone like a pack of assaults. But I think once he goes overseas to that next level of competition, he could be in trouble, which is what I've been saying the whole time. Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm, I, I think about it like this. Um, if this fight was to happen or take place in Russia, um, because of Tim Zhu's, you know, name and his father's influence, you know, I think that Tim Zhu would have a chance on the cards. I'm still on the fence with uh, Magu, Magomed uh, Kabanov, and I'm still, frankly, still on the fence with uh, Tim Zhu. So I would I would list that as a 50-50 fight. But in regards to the title picture, Tim Zhu is trying to get a title shot. And frankly, as I'm looking at it, unless Brian Castaño wins, um, I don't see him ever getting Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo, it's looking like Jamal Charlo is going to move to 168 and take on David Benavidez. And then we're going to have Jamel Charlo, if he defeats Brian Castaño, it's looking like he's going to move up and not defend his belts. You know... Or he may say and have yeah. one defense. And if that one defense is going to be any defense, 
It's going to be the winner of Erickson Lube and Jason Vizario that's taking place this weekend on the undercard of Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios because it's a PBC in-house face. I'm an in-house fight. Exactly. And if Rosario wins, it's a rematch. Correct. You know, and 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 um, if Lubin wins, it would be a rematch. Remember, Charlo uh, beat both of them up, sparked them both out. Oh, Lube. there you go. Well, the, you know, as, as, as Charlo said in his video, there's no motivation or rhyme or reason to fight Zoo. Especially when he can make really? the money on that side, you know, fighting, you know, the in-house fighters. And PBC is known for that. His best bet was to be to try to pursue the the IBF path because at least he know you know the IBF would have forced the shot. So I look at it like this: Tim Zhu is going to fight for either a vacant title if he gets this far, if he gets through Michael Zarafa, if he gets through um Kerbinoff. And that's if he even has to fight Kerbinoff. That's still an assumption. True, exactly. Uh, true, no. true. True. Nothing and nothing has been ordered yet. But one thing for sure is, is that Liam Smith versus Kerbinoff was an eliminator. So if yeah. Tim Zhu, you know, Tim Zhu will likely, if he wins, be ordered. It's not official yet, but we ordered to fight Kerbinoff. Now, of course, both these fighters yeah. can go different routes. But right now, Tim Zhu, you know, yes, Jared Swift heard recently lost to Luis Arias. You know, that would be a fight that I think, okay, Tim Zhu, you know, he should pursue, you know, try to get that fight. Um, you have a... I think you missed the bet. What'd you say? Sorry, I think he missed a bandwagon on uh, Jared Swift too, because now he'll he's get the opportunity to get the ring rust off. So if he gets, yeah. he wants to get Swift, he wants to get in there quick. Because once those boxes get their ring rust off, it's gonna be very very hard for Zoo. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm trying to find a route to a title, you know, and I just can't see it unless he, you know, for one, he's gonna have two tough fights ahead of him at least, you know, against Zarafa and then Kerbinov, you know, at least. Well, nothing wrong with that. No, because if he, he earns, needs if he, he earns the him. way, exactly. And if he earns him and he beats him, he deserves his shot. No, and, no, 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 and, and his fight with his fight, I don't see why Kerbinoff would go to us come to Australia, but no, his fight with Zarafa may very well be his last fight on Australian shores for quite some time. Well, his last fight in Australia should have been against Horn, but you know, let's not get into that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that, that, seriously, I mean, there's no one left to fight at one for for Tim that he wouldn't pummel inside of five or six rounds because yeah domestically there's really no challenge left he's got to go internationally yeah. or by some miracle start bringing international talent here huh. and I laugh at that no yeah, one's the, gonna the, the talent that I'm looking at are not going to Australia PBC Al Heyman is not sending his fighters to Australia not not when I have to spend two weeks in quarantine no exactly yeah yeah that ain't ha- you know, so it's time for Tim Zhu to pack up his bags, just like George Cambosos called him out. Like, look, you know, it's time to start getting, you know, well, getting out, coming over here, getting that prime sparring, you know, all of that. Well, exactly. I mean, so plenty of Aussies have gone overseas. Yeah. Now the Maloney twins are going to go. Well, we know Andrew. Andrew's possibly going to go again. Uh, Ebony's, where's Ebony right now? She's still in the And, and, and those Maloney's were here for a while at one point. Five months, yeah, five months. So... You know, it's, it's, it's after Zarafa, his options have run out yeah. in Australia. He's got to go overseas. So, no, if, if, no, if, but the movie's about. So, all right, the fight is exactly two weeks away. Um, closing thoughts? Uh, well, in two weeks, exactly now, in two weeks, time, we'll be doing our, re- our review video on the fight. But um, as I said, I'm sticking to my guns. I think Tim will, will get a victory uh, on points, I think. And I think it'll be a very hard, close it's not going to be easy for him. Uh, I've been saying the whole time, I think Tim's going to win, and I'm going to stick to it. So, I'm All right. To um, to I'm still on the fence, you know, but I did I, I did pick Zarafa, but not confidently. And that's where I'm going to stay with it. You know, we'll see how I feel during fight week. Um, T Street Controversy, this is Big J. Uh, and Big J with Fight View 3 season, please take your time out, subscribe, like the video, and um, see you guys during fight week for our preview.